Right. We're going? Okay. Yep. This is a training video for recording equipment. And uh, I'm going to talk a bit about different recording equipment that we sell, how to sell it, and uh, some of the terminology you'll need to know when you're selling it. Um, uh, there's two basic types of recording equipment that we sell here at Jim's. Uh, one is like this Zoom unit, is a standalone recorder. Um, pretty much all you need to record in addition to this unit is a microphone and uh, a set of headphones and that'll get you going. You will need those uh, with that unit. The other type of uh, recording unit we sell now is what's called a, an interface and this is designed to be uh, a unit that you can plug a microphone into or a guitar into and in turn you plug this unit into your computer so that all the recorded music uh, will those files, files will be on the computer so they are different this uh, the zoom unit or we also sell the Roland BR900 CD and other units uh, will have internal memory. This one in particular takes an SD card. I think the Roland also takes an SD or compact flash, I'm not sure. So, um, this type of unit offers more, so they're priced higher. This is about a $350 unit, I think. Yep, I keep saying that a lot. And um, so the the nice thing compared compared with the Zoom to the Tascam is this is portable, so you don't need the computer right. to record to it. You're just right. recorded a, a flash drive or an yes. SD card, yes, and then you're good to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can later transfer your files via the card to your computer for editing or what have you. Um, there's one that we sold recently in Marquette, and I'm sure we're going to be getting another one called the Roland or Boss BR900 CD. It's a little bit more advanced than this, and one of the biggest features in that one is that it has a CD burner in the unit. So it's more of a complete studio. You can go from basic recordings, do mix downs, and burn a CD right on the same, uh, the same recorder. This one doesn't do all that, but it's a good medium level uh, recorder and um, this one has two inputs I'm I, I'm not as familiar with this one but I think uh, that y you probably can run both at the same time so for instance a guitar and a vocal at the same time two tracks then a multi-track is designed so that you can keep adding to that you can um, once you've recorded a guitar and vocal for instance you can add a bass track and make it sound like a full rock song. This also, this one and the Roland recorders, have drum machines in them. You don't have to purchase a drum machine separately. That's another feature to the item. Um, this also has, I think, bass patterns. Yes. You can program bass patterns in there. You don't even need a bass guitar. Um, it also has uh, amp modeling, much like a, like a micro cube would have in there so you can uh, program in different sounds you plug in your guitar directly and then get it to sound like a certain amplifier um, and what else does it have it has a mic in it right here that's which is great for if you have a song idea and you're sitting down with an acoustic guitar uh, you want to do it quickly without setting up your mics or anything this has a built-in mic so you can just sit down get your idea down uh, onto your memory and then you can later uh, develop that song idea. So it's great for songwriters. Um, I have more experience with this one here, uh, which is a wonderful unit. These run 229. We should talk about that. I think ours is a little cheaper. Okay. Maybe not. Um, I thought we got that from you guys. You did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is. I think this is really cool. Obviously, if customers have more money to spend, I think the best one is the Roland BR900 CD, or else they have an upgrade of that, too, that runs about $1,300, which are the Primo Studios. Um, if somebody wants to get in to re uh, recording, 
on their computer relatively cheaply. This is great. You plug, uh, you can plug two inputs in it. Uh, this middle one's for the headphones. So uh, you can put two XLR mics in here at the same time, or you can put an XLR mic and a line input like a guitar uh, directly in there. There's your volumes, very easy. This has what's called phantom power on it. If you're using a condenser mic such as this, most high quality studio mics are condenser mics. They will require a power source. Obviously you don't plug these into the wall, so they get their power through a mixer. Uh, uh, most of our PV mixers have phantom power now. Uh, I believe this Zoom has phantom power, and I know the Roland does. So uh, the power actually goes through this unit, through the cable, to the microphone, to power the microphone. Um, so you put, uh, you put your inputs in here, put your phones in there, then you can, uh, you'd be listening, you'd dial this all the way to the left to be hearing only the input so you can tell what you're doing. And um, right here is your uh, output for your USB line. Now this does, this is actually an input as well. Your USB will go directly in your computer and uh, from the computer this unit will get its power. It doesn't have a power cord. The USB line also transfer your audio, transfers your audio files directly into your computer and it does that with the wonderful software that's bundled with this called Cubase. It's in here somewhere. Cubase, uh, this version at least, is a 24-track studio that's on your computer. It also has lots of effects. Um, it doesn't have a drum machine in it, uh, but you can. it has reverb, delay, distortion, all kinds of effects that you can apply on each track and multiple EQs and things like that. So this is great for somebody that's just learning how to record. They can go to more sophisticated units later. Um, also, uh, there are many, many accessories that you can sell, add-on sales that you can do with recording equipment. People will want to have decent headphones when they're working on a recording project so they can hear how, how their stuff sounds. This is a great set of phones. Uh, it's the Rolands. Also, if you give me a call on Marquette, I can tell you uh, there's an Audio-Technica one. That, these go for about $50. There's an Audio-Technica set that's better, quite a lot better, that goes for $90 that we sell up there, too. Um, uh, you will need a decent microphone. You can get by probably on these machines with even a PVI-2 will sound pretty decent. Um, but if we can upsell, we'd like to sell them a condenser mic and these make your acoustic guitars sound amazing. Um, you can't really get that sound plugging in an acoustic guitar or with a dynamic mic like a like a PV or a Shure M SM58. Um, uh, so we want to try and sell them uh, these Audio Technicas or an even better mic would be a uh, the PV Studio Pros which run about $300. Um, we can also sell them cables for the microphones. We can sell them stands. You will need probably a boom stand to, uh, to properly set up your microphone. And the last thing that they'll probably want to get into is uh, a, a pair of monitors for the... For your, they call them studio monitors. They're, diff they're configured different than stereo speakers, so you can hear accurately what you're recording, adjust your bass and treble, and your balance, your left and right, accordingly. So, uh, but uh, I think if if we all uh, read up a little bit on these units, we can sell a lot of them and make people happy in their recording endeavors. Cool. Thanks. Thanks.